today's topic is what are the types of graphs what is the definition so first definition is complete graph what do you mean by complete graph means a simple graph in which there is exactly one edge between each pair of distinct vertices is called as a complete graph a complete graph or a n vertices is denoted by kn for example only one vertice is called k1 when you have a two vertices it's joined from a one vertices to other vertices is called k2 the k2 graph okay k3 same way 3 4 vertices 5 vertices and etc it goes to k6 k6 means every other vertices are communicated so the number of the edge it's calculated is nothing but kn is nothing but n c2 is n into n minus 1 divided by 2 it will be asked in the mcq question what is the number of the edges in complete graph it's nothing but n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so next definition will be a regular regular graph so what do you mean by regular graph so the regular graph will be so it is if every vertice of a simple graph has a same degree if it has a same degree it is called as a regular graph you take one vertice so when each vertice when you get the same degree it may be one degree or it may be two degree or it may be three degree it goes on etc so when you get all the vertices same degree then it is called as a regular graph for example two regular graph is nothing but one graph i have drawn so check that vertices of a b c d e f everything so all the vertices it is two so it is two regular graphs so another three regular graph to example given so you check a b c d e f so when i take it i am getting the degree to be three so it is called as the three degree regular graph okay so three regular graph so next definition is bipart graph so the bipart graph is nothing but if the vertices v of a simple graph with the vertices and edge can be bipartition into a sub uh, subset v1 and v2 such that every edge of g is connect the vertices in v1 and and the vertices in v2 so that no edge connects the two vertices in v1 or two vertices in v2 it's called as a bipart graph so for example this is the first diagram so this is called bipart graph it can be written from a top to down or down left to right so any any way we can write it so for example a1 a2 b1 b2 b3 so a1 is connected to b1 and b2 and same way a2 is connected to b1 b2 and b3 so it can connect okay more than no edge is connected to uh, two vertices in v1 so two vertices in v2 so it should not connect it's called as a bipart graph completely bipart graph means for example when you take a vertex to be a1 means it should be connected with b1 b2 b3 compulsorily it should connect every every vertices it should connect then a2 when you take it it should connect with every vertices pi and edge so v1 is nothing but m vertices and v2 is nothing but n vertices so we can write it as k m comma n vertices so for example top you check it so 1 2 so 2 comma down you check 1 2 3 so 2 comma 3 k 2 comma 3 bipart graph is this this is complete graph completely bipart graph so next is definition will be a subgraph subgraph means a graph uh, h is nothing but v dash and e dash are called as a subgraph of a graph g with the vertex and edge if v dash is contained in v and e dash is contained in e so it is a subgraph for example there are so many subgraphs some only we, we will be using proper subgraph spanning subgraph induced subgraph proper subgraph is nothing but v v dash is contained in v and e dash is contained in e it's called as a proper subgraph suppose v dash equal to same v we get it it's called as a spanning subgraph induced subgraph means it is nothing but some element we delete and we form a, uh, some element or some vertices or some edges we delete so only those edges that are the incidents or the elements of an v dash is called as induced subgraph for example one graph g have drawn from a graph G, only I am taking A, A, B, C, E only. 
So I have deleted E. So deleted word is a subgraph of G. Same way, when you take it, H, D, E, I have an H deleted subgraph. Okay, so when I delete it. So after deleting, I get one graph. It's nothing but A, B, C, only with respect to three vertices. So it's called as an induced subgraph. So this is very important theorem. So most probably every time it is asked. So prove that the number of the edges in a bipart graph with n vertices, it is at the most n square by 4. So we know the total number of the vertices is nothing but denoted by n. So partition of v into v1 is nothing but x vertices. Partition of v2 is nothing but with us total is n. So n with respect to n, if I subtract that is v2 vertices. So n minus x vertices. The largest number of the edge can be obtained when each x vertices in V1 is connected to each n minus x in V2. So the largest number of edges is nothing but capital F or small f of x is nothing but how we can write it is not x into n this both V1 into V2 we can write it is nothing but largest edges f of x is nothing but x into n minus x. To find out which is maximum or minimum, how we know the procedure, no. So, first derivative we will differentiate and second derivative we differentiate and uh, check whether the second derivative, whether it is less or whether it is greater than or equal to 0, we are going to check. If it is less than or equal to 0, it is a maximum value. If it is uh, greater than or equal to 0, it is a minimum value. So, that only we are going to do. The corresponding f dash, we are going to take it equal to 0. We get a one point that is called as a stationary point. So, that rule only. You have studied this in your uh, max 1. So, that only. So, f dash is nothing but when I differentiate this. So, it is when you multiply it xn minus x squared. So, differentiate now with respect to x. So, n minus 2x. So, f double dash is nothing but minus 2. Minus 2 is less than 0. So, it is less than 0. f, f dash of e, x equal to 0 when I take it. This is equal to 0. It is nothing but. So, n minus 2 x equal to 0. So, n equal x, x only we need to calculate. So, x is nothing but n by 2. So, x we got the point is nothing but stationary point is n by 2. When you substitute which is the maximum point. In the given question, you substitute f of x, you substitute f of n by 2, you substitute. So, when I substitute, so x n by 2, n by 2, n minus n by 2. So, when I get it, it is n square by 4. So, we have proved it that the most is n square by 4. So, number of the edges in bipart graph, it n vertices. If it has n vertices, then we will have at the most n square divided by 4 elements.